everybody. Uh, we just wanted to come on here really quick and we had to say something about our last Saturday broadcast and fellowship. We always have our doors open at 7 p.m. for those of you that want to come over and, 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 and fellowship with us at Shepherd's Heart and Hands. And this last Saturday, God did not fail us. You know, we had people come in and we got some new people who came and showed up and God showed up as well and did some really good things. So, you know, we're always praying for people to get healed, delivered, made whole, be renewed, you know, whatever the Lord will do. And, and, and so we're really grateful for those of you that are supporting this new venture, this new chapter in our lives as we have our home open and we have a home fellowship going on at this time. And as long as the Lord leads us to do that, we're going to continue to do that, right? Yes. Oh, all righty. All right. And, and who came out to the house? Uh, uh, Minister Misty. Missy Fitzpatrick. Pastor Misty, it was yeah. great to have you. <laughs> we're so grateful. I've been looking forward to meeting you. I've heard about you for a long time. And then I finally got to meet you. And you chose our fellowship to come to, and we're very grateful. And we're grateful that for all that was said, everybody was talking about how they felt the Holy Spirit strong before we even got started. And we did take note of that. All right. We all, we had a guest and during the praise and worship, you know, there was things going on. Of course, my wife was ready to deliver and help someone get deliverance and yes. not only were they delivered but they accepted the lord as lord and savior and that's worth celebrating yes <laughs> what, what else do you want to say sweetheart well uh, when we have broken people that come into the atmosphere and god just downloads and just pour his love out on them and they get delivered and set free and actually gave her life to God. And and uh, it was really, really uh, amazing how God moved. And we just thank God for uh, Stacey Nash and uh, and even uh, Shelly and different ones that came out. So we just thank God for everyone that came out. But our special guest, she was a first timer. And so she came out and fellowshiped with us. And so I thank God for our even... Uh, uh, Minister Misty Fitzpatrick, she uh, said she enjoyed herself very much, and so she she said she will be back. So y'all need to come and join us. Yes, yes. I'm gonna slide over a little I'm bit. I, I see, I see the picture. All right, and and so guess what? Seven o'clock next Saturday, we'll be doing it again, as far as I know. And we invite you, you know, right here at Muncie. And when you come here. We're not broadcasting it, so that way, whatever the Lord does here, it's private. It's not all over the internet. That doesn't mean we're eventually not going to do that when we have a building. But right now, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one ministry going on with individuals who come into these doors, and God is moving. Yeah, you know? but ever since we've been open, ever since we opened the doors, that uh, there has been somebody each service that's been delivered and healed and made whole and god is just doing some things so you know the process is starting and so we know that he's going to be faithful and just to continue this good work so yes and and deliverance is nothing to be afraid of healing is all throughout the bible and people casting out devils i mean that is all throughout the new testament it, it, don't think of it as something strange. Think of it as something that should be a normal part of our Christian walk. Uh, the Bible talks about when people, when, if you feel ill, to go to the elders. You know, we, we represent elders here in, in, in this particular ministry because we, the Lord's called us to, to go out and preach the gospel yes. and, and share the love of God. And we're just instruments for his glory. And so, um, now, if you didn't catch our YouTube video, because I don't think it came out on Facebook, there's a brand new YouTube video that I just did earlier with Kathy, and 
you can go to the youtube.com slash evangelist Joe Romero. Instead of Joseph, put Joe Romero, and it'll take you right to my channel there, and you will see our most recent live where we're talking about the deliverance that took place at the movie theater as we, uh, uh, Kathy just came from there, just went to go see the movie, come out in the name of Jesus. And again, you know, there's a lot going on right now. And I believe that part of what the Lord was telling me when he said March, and he didn't really give me the details, is that March was going to start a huge movement in the body of Christ for us to get whole. And that meant mind, soul, and body, my, the whole the whole nine yards, completely made whole. Because there's a lot of us, we've been serving the Lord for a long time ago, and yet some of us, we're still struggling yeah. with issues, whatever that might be. Some of you might have a household that some of you serve in the Lord, some of you are not, and it's mixed. You, you're needing counsel, you're needing advice, how to deal with this stuff. There's people that are on fire for the Lord. People are not on fire for the Lord. And there's so many different people coming to us talking about different needs. And we're, we're here for you. So join us on Saturday because it's a revival of love, but it's also a revival to get made whole in the name of Jesus. And that address is 232 North Pershing Drive here in Muncie, Indiana. And so feel free to come out at 7 o'clock p.m. And we're looking to see you uh, soon. We're praying for you that you will come. We might not know what you look like, but we are praying that God will send other people in. Uh, deliverance is the children's bread. So come on down and get delivered, get set free, and and know that God is taking out some of the, the spots. Amen. <laughs> the bride is getting herself ready. We'll see you there. Bye. Bye-bye.